Let's go over the different resume types so that you know how best to structure your resume based on where you are in your career, your experience, and your industry. A chronological resume is a resume style in which all relevant work experience and education is listed in reverse chronological order, starting with the most recent experience. This resume style highlights your professional work experience and gives employers an overview of your career development and career accomplishments over the years. The chronological style is best suited to applicants with significant work experience and continuous career progression throughout their different positions. A functional resume, also known as a skills-based resume, focuses more on the relevant skills and qualifications of the candidate as opposed to a chronological history of experience. This resume style is recommended for students and those with little professional experience. These applicants benefit from communicating the skills they possess that would allow them to be successful in the role that they are applying for. In addition, volunteer experience or skills acquired through volunteering should be included. The combination resume combines the chronological timeline of work history from the chronological style resume with the skills overview of the functional style resume. The combination resume intends to highlight the most relevant skills and qualifications of the applicant while using employment history as evidence of experience and as an overview of career progression. The combination resume is ideal for early career professionals who have some professional experience with very strong skills and abilities to apply to their next position. Infographic resumes are predominantly used in the creative industries, such as graphic design, publishing, photography, and visual arts. However, we're also seeing infographic resumes emerge in other industries as well. Infographic resumes make use of graphic design elements in order to communicate information traditionally written in text. The graphic design elements organize the content in a visual manner so that it is easily understood. With your understanding of the purpose and style of each main resume type, we can give you a high-level overview of the section headers that you would typically find in a resume and the order in which they appear on each resume type. In a chronological resume, you will see the objective first, followed by your experience, your education, and then your skills, because in this resume, you're highlighting your experience. In a functional resume, you will see the objective first, followed by your skills, your education, and then your experience, if any, because this resume highlights your skills and knowledge. In a combination resume, you will see the objective first, followed by your skills, then your experience, then your education, because this resume highlights your skills and proven qualifications with your experience. On an infographic resume, you will see a number of different combinations for section headers because you're showcasing your creative abilities primarily. Now, keep in mind that these structures for your resume are a guideline. You don't have to follow them to the letter because your goal at the end of the day is to find the best way to highlight your strengths.